Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me and watching this video. I hope you watch it till the end. Anyway, um, this week I launched issue three of Dirty Glamour magazine, which is a personal project that I created and I work on to showcase my work, but also to showcase some of the amazing clients and the people that I meet and talk about their stories, their inspirations for getting in front of the camera, a personal challenge, and I basically transform them. I do a before picture and after, and it relates to the story that I talk about. And there's very many different topics that I talk about in the magazine. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can take a quick peek at it on MagCloud, and I'll put the link below, and you can preview the first three pages. Um, I do that because to create a little bit more suspense. And I will be in this video showing some of my previous issues, the images, to give you an idea of what I do. I do a lot of digital compositing for this magazine where I take them and their, their challenge or their issue, their story, and I, they do a beautiful before and then I do an amazing after. And the amazing after, I transport them to a digital world, a fantasy world. Sometimes when I work with clients and I hear their stories, they quite often tell, my, tell me about why they're here, what they're they're doing or using the pictures for. And it really uh, kind of led me to hear all these amazing stories. You would be surprised. Uh, I, you know, you think people just want pretty pictures and they do want attractive pictures, but there's so much more behind it uh, for people. And I wanted to talk about that in this video and explain what the magazine was about. As much as I post it on Instagram and Facebook, and I did a clip on YouTube on Tuesday. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link where I showcase the magazine. But you don't really, I don't know if it comes across as to why I'm doing it and the importance. And I'm passionate about people and their stories. And when I look at people, I see their limitless possibilities. So I'm an optimist in that way. Um, and sometimes when people are talking to me, I get a vision of how I envision them envision them in like this fantastical background. It might sound crazy, but this is what I do and I live it, eat it, breathe it. Uh, photography, creating images, I'm passionate about it. And that that passion le leads me or, and it, or is constantly propelling me to perfect my hair, my makeup techniques, uh, find the right wardrobe pieces, um, incorporate, you know, uh, really neat props. I mean, to me, it's all fun, but What's most important are these stories and the people and what they go through on a personal level. It's not easy for everyone to get in front of the camera and some people do it and they, they trust me and no problem. Other people are really hesitant. They've had things happen to them in the past. And so once hearing, once I started hearing all these stories uh, of all types, it really kind of inspired me to create this magazine. So the magazine is a real showcase of the clients, of everyday people, and all the different challenges they go through. There's so many topics, I can't even name them all because I don't want to leave them, leave something out and be accused of like focusing on one. But um, if you take a peek in the magazine or read some of the articles, you'll understand. And um, I just really enjoy uh, listening to people's stories and then creating these images to embody what challenge or what, how I see them or what they project. Um, best way to, you know, understand what I'm talking about is, is stay tuned, keep watching the video. I'm gonna post pictures from the previous issues one and two, the before and afters to give you an idea what the articles look like. Um, and then just kind of like what the imagery is about. Um, I found as a photographer and someone who is really excited about pinup and vintage, I don't necessarily fit into the mold of pinup. And so when I post on vintage groups, hair and makeup uh, videos or tips and tricks, I don't get a hundred hits. And you know, I constantly get comments on my eyebrows and how shocking they are, how they catch people off guard or how they gotta go. So I really don't know what that's about, but all I know is uh, I have no problem with being different than the average girl who is making those comments towards me. And constantly doing these videos and doing the magazine, <clears throat> you may think, why would I bother? The more I put myself out there and the more people see the images, see me, see me doing these hair makeup, you know, being in those vintage groups, um, it breaks ideas of what vintage or pinup is. It breaks ideas of what women are supposed to look like or be like. So I really don't know what the issue is with my eyebrows. Perhaps they're just too wild for everyone. Right now, they're my my bangs are covering them. But anyway, um, 
the point is, is that I never really felt like a total part of that community, the pinup community. And so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not being a part of anyone's community. I'd rather be on the edge or be in the middle. And I had applied to a bunch of different pinup magazines. Um, a lot of photographers do, you know, to be a photographer with them, to have your work submitted. And I got a comment back that my work was too unpredictable. It was nice, but it was too unpredictable and the color variations and yada yada. So I have experience printing magazines and I study graphic design and multimedia and all this stuff. So I was like, in one way I could understand. On another hand, I was like, it's not that big a deal. You know, there's things you can do in the computer to fix an image, to alter it. If they really wanted me to be a part of their magazine and saw past whatever it was, I, I submitted a whole host of images and some of them were just, you know, solid, you know, for photographic work where you see everything really clearly and there's shadows in the white, blah, 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 blah. But um, what I did was, you know, I could have gotten really upset or mad or felt rejected or internalized it and been like, oh, I'm no good. But I didn't do that. I decided to create my own magazine showcasing my work. And I kind of like the idea that my images aren't predictable and that they're compelling and that they're unusual. And I, and I, proved that they could be printed. So, you know, I don't want to be a part of anyone's group or community or magazine that is limited in their view and their vision. So I created something that has vision. When I look at people, I have a vision. I believe in people and that's why I talk about people's real stories. I wanted to create a magazine that was intellectual, you know, fun at the same time, create a beautiful imagery that it was like eye candy, you just couldn't stop looking at it. And so each issue I strive to do that. And each issue, things change, I improve, I grow. And the only way I can do that is by to continue to do these issues and to create the imagery and to put myself out there. So I hope you enjoy uh, my newest issue. I am on MagCloud with it. And um, I'm looking at some other options where else I can, I can, you know, display it. But you can go on my website, yourjewel.com. And you can um, click on the link there to access it. Um, you can see some of the images. Feel free to look around. But I hope that this um, video and what I have just talked about un helps you understand and maybe inspires you to go purchase my magazine or and see what it's about. And maybe it's a different twist on vintage. Maybe it's a different twist on fashion or comp compositing or digital artistry. But I hope you enjoy my take on this imagery and the stories that I create and using real people and I'm always looking and interested in people's stories and I'm always interested in creating images for this magazine and I put it out when I feel like it. It's a personal project. I, I put it out when time permits. I do do my photography full time. Do do. And uh, anyway, so you know, like I said, I, this is my passion. I live and breathe it. Creating is my passion, whether it be jewelry, makeup, photography, or the magazine, publishing products. I mean, it's all about um, creating a different vision, breaking ideas, breaking ideas of gla glamour that it's not, you know, uh, people who enjoy glamour aren't self-absorbed or frivolous or, you know, there's nothing to it. There's nothing wrong with putting on lipstick. There's nothing wrong with just wearing lip gloss. There's nothing wrong with wearing nothing, but it's breaking those ideas and being told how you should look. And it's like when people comment on the eyebrows, I'm like, and it's a hair post, you know? So these are things that I, I come up against on a regular basis with my work and you may not have known that. So I really hope this magazine inspires you. I really want people to reach for their star, believe in themselves. And issue three is all about that. It's all about, um, believing in what you can't see and trusting. And it's, you know, when you're self-employed or when there's something you really love to do, but everyone's telling you it's not practical, especially as an artist, you may relate if, you know, um, you have to believe in it. You have to believe in what you can't see. And I envision people and situations and things and I create it. So that being said, I could go on forever about my work, but I want you to enjoy it and I want you to experience it. I hope this video has helped you understand more about who I am, my company, the magazine, Dirty Glamour Magazine, which is a refreshing take on glamour and just breaking ideas of what glamour is and how 
I use it to inspire, motivate, and uplift people just to have fun and to reach for that star. So thank you so much for watching this video. Join me on my social media channels. I'm always working to make them interesting and fun. Join me on Instagram at Baroness Lovey Deluxe. I have a film noir inspired feed. I do a lot of my carnival and circus imagery. Um, I hope that's something you enjoy as well. And um, join me on my Facebook. Everything posts to there. I'm always announcing tour dates. I'm currently looking to put together my Las Vegas date for March 23rd to 27th. So if you're interested, there's a link below this video. Uh, join the fun where you can get information on the photography sessions. Um, there's promotional sessions where you can add hair and makeup, and then there's also my Lux packages, which include hair and makeup, product, confirmed date and time, um, so much more. I give a lot of value in what I offer, and I'm really excited about my new fantasy options, uh, Fantasia, that is a lot of the imagery like you're seeing in the magazine. I've created an add-on that you can add on to a promo or a Lux package, and then I've created two separate Lux packages in the Fantasia style, which is transporting you to these fantasy lands using digital imagery but making it very seamless. And I can do absolutely anything from pinups to fairies to mermaids to warriors. It's really exciting. The magazine will really give you an insight into that imagery. So thank you very much for watching. Join me on my social media channels and I appreciate your time. And be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos. Bye-bye.